So today's video looks at one of the worst tanks, in my opinion, uh, at least in current meta within World of Tanks console, and we're going to have a look at why it's so bad. And it's going to be part of this series whereby we look at some of the worst tanks in the game, at least in the majority of the aspects about each tank. And this video focuses on the AMX CDC. So this is a tier 8 French medium tank that I had the pleasure of three marking. Uh, pleasure being, hmm, not so much. Uh, but... Yeah, I three marked this a long, long time ago, probably four or five years ago when it first came out onto console. So that was a long time ago. I remember this tank was actually one I looked forward to picking up. But when we look at today's meta with the Ragnarok right in front of us, the broken uh, tier 8 Czechoslovakian tank that it is, it's pale in comparison. You've got 240 alpha damage like you're seeing us deal on these various different tanks moving up. Um, you've got no armor and when i mean no armor you literally have zero armor um this thing this thing basically does quite well in matches where you can constantly keep the gun firing because if you cannot or, or you're playing in games where you're <laughs> where you're basically getting hit and you cannot out dpm the people especially if you're playing against auto loaders they are your nightmare in the AMX CDC and, and that's why you, in World of Tanks console you need to make sure you are fighting with tanks that aren't autoloaders primarily unless you obviously have support and they can give you a bit of um, support. Now I've moved up very aggressively in this game I'm not going to lie this is not a position you want to be taking if you're trying to be a bit more passive and, and be a spotting tank I guess you can spot from the position up here um, but it isn't the best position. I would say if you're trying to get some spotting because obviously in the mi middle I would say is is probably the area where you want to be looking uh, if you're trying to get some spotting damage where that light tank on our team is. Now here is where the CDC I guess can get into its element using its gun depression to be able to put out damage very very quickly on people like the Emil. Um, unfortunately we did bounce and then we take another one which means we're also going to take another one. And yeah, we're on 92 health. We have done 1900 hit points of damage, so it's not a bad game in the CDC. Uh, make that 2100. But this is the problem. If you have no support, this tank is completely useless because no one will actually bounce off of you. There is no way in hell that anyone is bouncing off this tank. And if they do, you better uh, buy yourself a lottery ticket because this thing, that definitely doesn't happen on the regular and um, you can see we got shut down on the move, auto-aimed uh, by uh, even more overpowered medium tank, the Draugen, um, which is just basically a better version of, uh, of the CDC. You know, it's got a similar mobility and um, it doesn't have to rely on your teammates because sometimes, well, more often than not, they'll let you down. Um, yeah, I was expecting... At least the, this IS-6 there and the people on top of the hill to be taking shots at the people that were aggressively attacking me. But not a single one of them decided that they were going to do anything about it. And they were just going to wait until I get taken out and then have to face them uh, frontally. Or just not even look at them and, and look somewhere else. But yeah, CDC, definitely one of those that really does need a buff within World of Tanks. We did rack up... 2,400 uh, damage I believe it was within you know three and a half minutes of the game starting obviously that's getting into position so yes it can out well it can out DPM a, a fair few amount of people but it is one of those tanks that you do need to play quite well you cannot basically expect to be doing that sort of damage every single game unless of course you are playing at one of the highest levels in the game um, but yeah as far as as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the worst tanks, and we will have another gameplay. Um, although being a good game, it shows you the negatives of the tank. And I guess trying to do well in a bad tank is always more rewarding than doing well in a better tank. So if you've got something like the Dragon, and yes, you might have done three and a half thousand damage, but it's not the same level of enjoyment as playing something like uh, the the CDC and doing three and a half thousand damage because you really do have to get those shots out 
you know, there is no way that getting three and a half thousand damage is anywhere near as uh, as easy as it is with something like the Dragon because you just don't have the alpha, you don't have the auto loader, you just don't have the armor, you don't have um, that good mobility. Yes, you are fast. Don't get me wrong, um, but you aren't fast enough, if that makes sense. So there's one thing I don't like realistically about the CDC and the accuracy on the move is is far from um, where you'd want it to be for a tank with no armor and supposedly good DPM um, yeah makes the DPM less effective if that makes sense so yeah a tank that you can have good games but more often than not you're going to be at a significant disadvantage and you see we lose the game right there um, because, you know, we couldn't carry hard enough, I guess. Uh, we did manage to pick up a decent game, so it wasn't an awful one. 2,402 damage, bit of assistance. Um, yeah, not a bad one, not the best one, but we'll take it, considering we moved up into an aggressive position and had very little team support, and we were just being very, um, very kind of opportunistic with the shots that you have to take, and that's something you need to do in the CDC. Now... We go straight into the next game from that previous one, um, just to try and get some more gameplay and talk more about the sort of playstyle you want to be using in tanks that aren't specifically as good, because that's the focus of these videos. Yes, you can say, this is the best premium tank, this is the best tank in the game, but often than not, or more often than not I should say, every single tank line has a tank that plays to a degree pretty bad. So even some of the best tanks at tier 10, throughout the tech tree uh, versions of that tank, you know, maybe leading up to the T-57 Heavy, for example, brilliant tier 10 uh, from the American Heavy line. But if we look at the previous ones, the T-69 is a pretty awful tier 8 autoloader. Now, does that mean you can't have good games in it? No. Of course you can have good games. You could have good games playing in the mouse just ramming people. But it's very, very unlikely and you are at a significant disadvantage if you do play some of these tanks. Um, and yeah, we make a bit of a misplay here, obviously. Um, two to tango and all of that, uh, crashing into each other. And then me deciding to be even more of a bot and crash into the house. Don't know how I didn't see that. But yeah, going back to the gameplay, I think... You know, you can play very well, so long as you play in the mindset that you have to be very or extra careful when you play in tanks like this, because obviously CDC is a paper tank, and so you need to play it just like a paper tank. You don't want to be pulling outside on in front of people that are going to be firing HE at you, uh, because that's just not going to work, is it? You know, be, be smart. Don't go ramming things that are heavier than you. You don't want to be ramming anything that is super heavy. Uh, definitely don't want to be ramming medium tanks of the same tier because often um, the tanks are basically uh, heavier because you are a very, very kind of paper tank, once again, like we said. But what you can do is when you're coming up against these light tanks, sometimes it is worth actually... Um, kind of ramming into them just to get them out of the game so you don't take another shot from them and you don't take another shot from um, some of the other ones. Now, unfortunately for us here, we are getting just peppered by the AMX 1357, which is a super annoying um, light tank to come up against because in most situations it's pretty terrible, um, but it, on the odd occasion it can be very good. Now, we've won the hill, which is the key area on mines, and of course... If you want to win mines in general, you do need to win the hill, or at least um, be very mindful of the hill. And you definitely don't want to be playing out where the Shashka is, out in the middle of the open, because that is exactly what happens as the SU 130PM gets shut down. Now, what can we use within this tank? Well, I would say it has good view range, but when we compare it to other tanks of the same tier, of the same class, it's pretty mediocre. You know, you haven't really got too much uh, to say in the way of view range unless you're stationary. And so what it previously used to be good at is when you compare it to something like a Russian medium tank. Uh, this tank used to be fairly decent, but uh, in current terms, I should say, it's just become um, 
just surpassed by all of the pr recent premium tanks looking at things like the Ragnarok, the Draugon, you've got all of the various different uh, medium tanks that have got released, basically power crept uh, to hell and you can think about it uh, like this as well, like you know the Super Pershing came out around the same sort of time, it was one of the early premium tanks within World of Tanks console um, and so they just don't work as intended anymore. Like the game's moved on past this point at which uh, you can realistically be using them in a competitive manner. Because back in the day, basically what used to happen um, with the premium tanks balancing and, and all of that various different jazz was that you used to get like kind of one advantage, one superb thing about your tank. And in the case of the CDC, it's the gun depression and the rate of fire. Being able to, you know, put out those rounds super, super quickly, uh, being able to deal the damage from all sorts of angles, use that gun depression, which is 8 degrees, I think it is, or it might be 10 degrees even, um, but it makes it even more effective because it's kind of very um, low profile and, and kind of, you can use it very well on ridgeline. So although it's 10 degrees, like a lot of other ones, it's effective 10 degrees of gun depression. So that's kind of what, it, what was good at, uh, about the tank, but... You know, when we look at the current premiums, it's more of a case of they have one significant weakness. That That's kind of how they've shifted. So, no lot gone are the days where you'd have one significant strength, where it's really, really good. It's now one significant weakness. So, you look at something like the Draugon, its weakness is realistically its armour. And then in every other regard, it pretty much gets um, some of the best in class um, statistics. Uh, it's got view range, it's got the gun handling, you can load hash rounds. You have pretty much every single thing that you would need in a tank like that. And so, yes, of course, when you're playing up against those sort of tanks, what on earth do you expect uh, playing in the CDC? Um, but as you can see here, we've had a fantastic game. 3,249 damage. Super, super quick damage as well. So that's kind of the trade-off. You know, you can have these good games and, and you feel a lot more rewarding. But what on the on the flip side is is you don't have those games where it's absolutely superb and you're dealing so much damage um, that your opponents have no chance. And of course, I made a bit of a misplay here. I forgot that the Centurion was coming up to my right and we don't manage to get a shot into him. And then, of course, being the bot that I am, I fired there and we get shut down as we get hit. Uh, into that rock and, and bounced up in the air and yeah the game gets ruined once again and then from this point onwards it's basically the vanguard just tries to run away and plays a bit strange he doesn't even decide to actually attack anyone he just runs away not entirely sure what it was i thought he was out of ammo for a little bit but he wasn't um, because he then fired later on so not entirely sure could have taken out the centurion there or the atomic um, and then moved on with whatever he was going to plan to do in the end of the game. But yeah, at the end of the day, he gets taken out and we end the game. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's all sped up for you. Um, uh, and then and then basically we're at the result screen now. So we got 3,452 damage. We made 122,000 silver, which is really nice, don't get me wrong. Um, but for a game where you have to carry that hard and you still lose, it's very, very infuriating. If we were in maybe a different tank where we had a bit of armour and we could have come up against that Centurion and we maybe bounced a few rounds or you're coming up against the light tanks and you could have maybe bounced a few rounds, yeah, of course, we would have been on more health and we would have probably won that situation. Then who knows what would have happened from then on. But of course, we pick a pretty terrible tank and we get a fairly terrible result. Coming in with a loss so yeah two losses in a row well make that three because the first one of the recording of this video was also a loss um, but it was a severe tier 10 game so this is pretty much maxing the tank out in terms of performance because we are coming up against tier 8s don't forget this thing meets tier 10s and trust me when I say this thing has no armor it doesn't have armor we didn't come up against artillery in either of the games and that's another key kind of problem that the CDC faces is the artillery rounds and so there we go the AMX CDC one of the worst premium tanks probably in the game right now 
uh, maybe not the worst, but one of the least competitive premium tanks within the game. So hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to hit that like button and also subscribe for some more content like this. We'll be going through various different other terrible tanks within World of Tanks. So yeah, hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to check out some of the other content on the channel if you fancy it. Or other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.